Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with something different. This is a little fan made game called Jurassic Planet and it's still in development and the developers are quite active on it. It's a two person team. They go by the name of Primal and McFly High. Now I've got a link to their Discord and this is a free to play demo so if you want to go and check it out and give them some support go and check out the Discord they're quite active down there and um, there's also some sections in there that show you what they're working on currently and what's going to be added into this game but as you can see it looks quite beautiful made in the Unreal 4 engine so same engine as Ark Survival Evolved there's no mistaking it. When it comes to jungles and how the Unreal 4 engine can make an island look, it does look beautiful. And so I thought we'd come and check it out and we're gonna Whoa! Lost me car. Come back, come back car. I was just trying to see if I could get an in view from the car. So bear in mind this is just made by two people and it's a fan game, so there will be some bugs in it. But the idea is to try and get an idea of how Jurassic Park was meant to be laid out and this is there there is arguments on the internet about certain aspects of Jurassic Park which I'm going to get to we'll talk about in fact we're going to talk about the films and the game as well as we explore it well what does this say we've got oh it's the visitor center and I've just lost my car okay the quality looks like the sign and I think just to wander around the park, this is this is a really, really nice idea. Okay, well, I've lost that Jeep, but there's one here, and there was a path going back this way. Ooh, okay, there's a building here, let's just ch check this out. Okay, looks like garages. Nothing really does jungle like Unreal, and of course, Unreal 5 is going to be coming out and I do wonder how compatible these assets and things that developers have made and all of these models are going to be because I think this is like from number, is this from film 2, the Mercedes? Because it's pretty spot on how it looks. I know number 2 was probably my least favourite. I love all of the Jurassic Park films but I think number 2 was my least favourite of them and I'm pretty sure it was this Mercedes that was in it. Don't get me wrong, I love all dinosaur games and anything to, to do with Jurassic Park. So, but yeah, I'm saying that I hope these assets and models are going to be able to use in the future version of Unreal, Unreal 5, which we all got a look at last month. And I'll probably actually, we'll, we'll talk about that as well. Talk about the Unreal 5, Jurassic Park, all of that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, out of control. I'm just going through the trees there. Okay. Right, just need to get to the visitor's center, James, as safely as possible. So, continue up this way. I don't think there's any dinosaurs just yet, but there we go. We've got the electric fences here on the left. So, now he has added some dinosaurs to the game. We'll explore some of them in a moment yet to do the T-Rex but the T-Rex paddock is kind of finished and that's important because that's a talking point in the film a lot of people argue how could the T-Rex get out of that paddock but yeah how could the car have fallen into that tree and uh, they've definitely thought about it when it comes to the design of this map which we're going to get to so we just need to get to visitors center which is just up ahead Ah, right, okay, so this is the electric fence pointing, so we need to open these doors. Do we need to get out to do that? Hang on a sec. Oh, no, they've opened automatically. Okay, right, let's get through the... No! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I've just broken the game. <laughs> Okay, we're back, we're back. Okay, we'll get through the fence without flipping the car. Okay. Right, we're through here, so there might be some dinosaurs wandering through this bit now. Okay, 
Oh, and there's the uh, Pteranodon enclosure, or Avery, up ahead. Which I think was in the original Jurassic Park novel, but not in the film. That is definitely on my list of books to read. The original Jurassic Park. I mean, I'm sure Steven Spielberg was inspired by the book in the first place, so I think it would be a good read. And uh, it's definitely, definitely on my list to read. In fact, I'd like to do that this year. Okay, let's carry on up here. No dinosaurs yet. There should be some. Be like Dr. Malcolm. Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Oh, there we go. Hey, there's a trike. Oh, can he knock the car? Oh, I was going to try and get him to bump into the car, but I didn't break in time. And the model looks great on the trike. The scale. This is the thing about scaling. I mean, when you look at Ark Survival Evolved. Now look at look at this Bonto. Is there a way I can look in the view of the car? It's a tab. You see how the Bronto doesn't fit on the screen there. Really, really, your field of view really does change the scale of these animals. Now that's one of the things about the differences between the Jurassic Park film by Colin Trevorrow and Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg chose to shoot the original Jurassic Park in a 1.851 spec ratio and this meant that he was able to utilize those wide shots and really make the humans feel undersized. In fact, I'm actually going to pull up the example. The, the best example you can see is the first time the doctors see the first dinosaur in the film, which is the Brontosaurus. And it's not just how he looks and zooms in on their facial expressions seeing and looking up at something so big it's also the the lens he chose to film it in and uh, this really really just just gave a sense of scale and i think when we come to look at the colin trevorrow film jurassic world and you see that same scene done again with the brontosaurus it has nowhere near the same effect as that first film and scale is everything when it comes to, to the dinosaurs for me it's these giant impossible creatures but yeah it was that aspect ratio that completely transformed the scene for myself and uh, i will always think that spielberg made the right choice in the lens he used there you go there you go that's my two cents on the brontosaurus scene from jurassic park Okay, so we're just coming up to the visitor's centre now. And he's done a wonderful job on this. So, this is obviously meant to be as the park's open. Not as it was left destroyed. And let's come inside here. Now, I love this because... It, with the lights and the way they've both modeled this it looks fantastic you've done a great job on this guys you really have and that we can even see the completed mural on the wall now as well so marble floor you can imagine them coming here and they went in there to the restaurant didn't they so this is a major location from the film like I say, when I was in that history museum as well, you know, when you stand up against the scale of these rexes that walk the, the earth, it, it really, it really is something. Okay. So it doesn't, it looks, it looks wonderful. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. Done a fantastic job. So... There is a couple of parts of the game as well. They've got a survivor mode on here. But right now we're just going to go into the travelling simulator. And this would be like the park ride itself. Now I was looking through things that it wants to add to the game. He wants to add them gyrospheres as well. And have other ways to tra traverse the park. So do check in. And uh, if you're interested go and check out the link in the description for the discord and, and go and give it a go yourself okay so what's this okay yes yeah, so the cars are going to come up come along and i'm just gonna have to put the music down because 
unfortunately I can't turn the copyright music off so I have to turn the sound down on this bit so we're gonna miss the description or at least part of the description that's going on in the car right now because I can't get rid of the copyright music I'll try and cut it back in when I can when the music Fossilized remains of oh, here we go. You can hear him now. Back from extinction through the science of the music was just going then, and I, and I couldn't. They are a reminder of a past, but we could only look at the bones of the now living, breathing creatures of Jurassic Park. The interactive CD ROM the technology delivers Oop, an experience like no other as you visit the actual labs and hatchery where the animals of the park are created and born. Nice. The visitor center also offers fine dining at our restaurant, Les Gigantes. And don't forget to visit the gift shop, where you can find all your Jurassic Park merchandise. If you wish to purchase some merchandise, please exit the vehicle and head towards the visitor center with your visitor pass. If you've lost your visitor pass, then please request a new one at the main desk. If you are it's nice, they've even the got tour, the plastic on the steering wheel like the original. Ah, oh, here we go. Now, just for YouTube purposes, obviously the music's going now. I'm going to have to get rid of this. But another thing that makes a truly immersive experience is the music behind Jurassic Park. And uh, so I've just had to switch that off. But cool. Oh, here we go. Dun, Through dun, the doors. Dun, 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 just have to imagine the strings and stuff going off and the horns. I won't do it because everybody does it, but you know it. You know that you know the tune. Okay. Well, let's continue. We've got the night vision goggles down here. Looks like we can stick them on. And I'm not sure is that thermal vision perhaps? Might be a way to spot dinosaurs easier. I don't know if he's going to integrate a day or night cycle. I didn't actually check that on the uh, to-do list. But I could imagine going to the T-Rex paddock in the rain and thunder would be uh, would be a cool immersive experience. So if, if you are watching this one primal, there you go, there's a thought for you. Add thunder and darkness at the T-Rex paddock. Okay, so this is the Pterodon enclosure, Avery. I'm led to believe this was actually in the original book. It was finally brought into the third film. But um, I must read the book. I really must read the book. Can we get out and have a look in some of these buildings here? Can we get in here? There we go, Jurassic Park Avery. Okay. Oh, okay, we can get on the balcony. Oh, I'm going to miss my cars can actually get up here so we can we can actually get into that cage as well um it said down here is an option okay avery cage oh okay be able to get a bit higher and actually might be able to see the um pterodon models themselves i saw them flying up but this gets us a little bit closer to them oh there we are there we are there's one <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna chase it. I'm gonna miss them cars. I don't know if another set of cars just come, if it's just like a track where they where they come back, but I might have to run after them. Okay. Very cool. I like it. So Right, let's get back to the cars and we'll go and check out the T-Rex paddock. Okay. Just looks like we're going for a giant tunnel at the moment and I don't know perhaps we just check something out on the CD-ROM while we wait does anyone like the aisle? right okay we'll just be careful I can see quite well at night as a raptor but right just smell it's around here somewhere 
Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. This is like literally the first time I've found food. Ah, oh, quality. I keep dying of starvation. We finally get something to eat. This game is hard. <laughs> I need that. No! No! Oh. Why are you lot asking me to play the aisle? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Okay, that's enough of that. And I may bring out I may bring out an episode of the Isle. I may. I may. It's been requested in my Discord a couple of times. So I have I'm checking it out, guys. I'm checking it out. Now, okay, so there's a little bit this is where we can actually clear up this age old question of how the T Rex managed to get out of the paddock. Yeah, this car was actually forced off into the ditch. Now, it's not coincidental really, so this is where the lawyer ran into the toilet, into the bathroom, into here. And as you can see, if we look over here, see it's the end of the line, they just do their dance at the end of the line for the time being. And uh, the map isn't finished beyond that way. But here we go, if we just look over here, you can see he's just added the goat. And if we come over here, that's where the tree is and it went down in a drain. Now, I've actually pulled up this guys for you guys to take a look at. As you can see, this was actually the original plan to begin with. The T-Rex was in its park and the cars were on the track and it was the T-Rex that nudged it towards the ditch and towards the tree. So it's not it, it, it was always in the script. It was always in the plans, even though you can't really see the shot and you think well did it make sense or not so anyone thinking how did the t-rex get ac get across there there we go we've just cleaned it up okay so recently added a new mode to the game survival so we're just going to go and check this out and okay 31 bullets and looks like we've got a score and some objectives so Search base and turn on the generator. Okay, so let's try and find the generator. I can't find the generator. Press E to start. Okay. Oh, it's right behind me. Okay, I'm blind. I'm blind. Okay, locate computer and gather intel. Okay. I'm going to assume it's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. Or computer press E to start so right so it's booting okay ah oh, is the T-Rex I don't think he has a T-Rex yet <laughs> okay right come on then where are you I'm just gonna hang around up the top here. Oh here's oh here we go, we got some trikes. Oh he's come straight up the stairs. <laughs> he, can you get around here? He can get around here. Okay. Oh there's more of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It actually looks like Ark actually, some of the ragdolls on that. Wow, the blood is real. These things take a few bullets, don't they? Kind of tricky. Like more than one clip per. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> Let's just go poing. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, I can't take damage. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Love it. James CG, where did I finish? 24th, there you go guys, try and beat my score. Really, really nice to see a fan-made game of Jurassic Park. And I don't know if I mentioned at the start here about the new Unreal 5 engine and its photo realism. And this is kind of what we've got to look forward to. And I'm hoping that Ark follows suit and jumps onto the Unreal 5 engine 
and uh, I'm hoping the developers are going to be able to use their assets and models and bring it forth. They should be able to, technically. This is the next generation of gaming that we're going to be looking at here, these sort of shadows and effects. And I think if you are an aspiring developer, not that I know anything about being a developer, what I do know is I love the Unreal Engine and uh, I'm always happy to check out games that, that have been made on it. And should you be interested in keeping up with the progress of Jurassic Planet, then links to their Discord is in the description below. Go in and uh, say hello and uh, have a look at the checklist and what plans are there as well. They've got an ideas section and uh, I'm sure they'd all love to hear your thoughts and ideas on a bit of a fan-made project there. So, so thank you Primal and McFly for doing this fan-made game and letting us all have a crack at it. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.